Hi and welcome to part four, the final segment on how to change the tail number on your airplane using GIMP to modify the PNG file. So let's finish up. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not impressed. The numbers are crooked, a little angled too much, and they're a little too big. Um, so I just think we need to make the letters and numbers smaller and we need to find a better font. Uh, let's just take a look at the other side real quickly and see what they have over here. Let's just swing around to the other side of the airplane. And yeah, we want a font that's a little thicker and maybe not so big. So let's go back and make some changes. Okay, I just quickly selected another font and change the size a little bit. Of course, a different font will, uh, you'll need to play around quite a bit when you're changing the fonts, but let's just take a look here. This looks much nicer. It's more like um, the real thing. The, the letters are more vertical. Um, and we compare that to the other side. It's not a perfect match. Um, but if you wanted to spend some time just looking at fonts, you could probably find a font that would match that perfectly. The idea of this video is just to show you how to do this. Um, and it's going to take a lot more time than just the hour or two that I put into throwing this video together. So um, there you have it. Uh, let's go back and I'll just show you a few things that I did. All right, so to edit this, I just came in and I double clicked on the letter. And then I typed in C up here just to get all the C fonts, the fonts that begin with the letter C. And I picked this for no particular reason. You could pick any font you want, any letter you want. But the one that came up pretty close was, uh, was this one here, Cambria Bold. And I just clicked on that. And there you have it. We got the Cambria Bold. Then I changed the font size because obviously it's too big. I think I went to 59 or 60. So let's we've got to highlight it. So let's just take that down to the size we want. 61 is I think where I left it. And then I just did that for each one of the letters. I just went up here and double clicked. I had copy and pasted that font on there. Double click copy paste and so you get the idea so that's how I change that and you may have to go through this several times to get a font you want if you're not too fussy if you're like me you're not too fussy I think what we have is just fine okay and now we're going to do the right side of the airplane so let's look at the image and you'll notice that in the image it's backwards we're reading from right to left that's because it's going to be on the right side of the airplane. So when we put these letters and numbers on here, we're going to have to do it backwards. And that's where the layers come in. And that's why we have this layer tool here. So let's start. Um, well, first, where do we want to put the L? It's going to go right over that area. So we're going to put the L right here. So we're going to put our L. Highlight it. 61 and we're going to select the color now remember we had to find that number up here on the other side and then we saved that number we copied it and now we're just going to paste it here and we're going to hit OK now we hold the alt key down slide it up to where we think we want it which is just below that line remember we put everything just below that line and now that we have that here, you'll notice that we created a layer over here named L. So now we're going to go up to Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontally. And now the L is back. So we have 8 for Delta Lima. So we need a D. So now we click, we type D, we highlight it. Make it 61, get the color, change that color, hold it down and put it in position. I'm holding the Alt key again and we'll put it in position. We go to Layer, 
transform flip horizontally. So now it's November 8, 4, Delta Lima. We need a 4. So we do the 4. 61. We get the color we want. And we hit OK. Hold down the Alt key. We position that where we want it. Right about there. And now we're going to go to Image, Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontally. And you get the idea. Let me just quickly get this done and then we'll look at it. Alright, so here's the left side of the airplane. Notice the position of the N. And now let's take a look at this and look at the L. That's pretty darn good. So that wraps up this little tutorial on how to change the tail number on the livery of your airplane. Now remember, all airplanes that you purchase or download for free are copyright protected and you need to get permission to make these changes. Now most developers will allow you to make these changes for your personal use only. So again, these are copyright protected and we need to respect that. With that said, we're all done. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of this. If you liked this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. And if you have suggestions for how this could be done easier or better, uh, that would be nice. Please do so. And I thank you so much for watching, and God bless.